Motorola is releasing a new version of its Moto G Stylus 5G phone. Scheduled release date to market next Thursday, April 28, 2022. The new Moto G Stylus 5G has been revamped, updated, and improved from its previous 4G model released prior. I'm excited about it and I will be breaking down all the details next. Let's go. What's updated? The 120Hz refresh rate. This is updated from the previous model which has a 90Hz refresh rate. The benefit here is in the smoother scrolling control and faster, crisp animations of objects and images on screen. While the pixel resolution remains the same at 1080 x 2460, the refresh rate coupled with the slightly increased PPI color density of 395 up by 8 points from its predecessor model PPI of 387 provides better color richness, brightness, saturation, and depth than before. Second, optical image stabilization. Motorola has added OIS or optical image stabilization to their 50 megapixel main rear camera. This was not included in the previous budget level version and it is rarely seen in mid-range price cell phones. By adding OIS along with the phase detection autofocus feature you currently get, this helps to sharpen and make photos crisp in their details, especially when taking photos in low lighting and at night. The 8 megapixel ultra wide camera also doubles as its macro camera too. This means the macro camera will take 8 megapixel photos like the ultra wide camera. The previous version utilized a separate 5 megapixel macro sensor lens. The front selfie camera remains 16 megapixels, PDAF, phase detection autofocus with high dynamic range. 3. 5G Connectivity Support The new Moto G Stylus 5G is 5G wireless capable this time. The previous version kind of claimed it was also, but turns out it wasn't. This was brought to my attention in the comments by Paul Allers. Shout out to Paul. Thanks. Motorola claims their 5G is coming with sub 6 GHz support to include C band frequencies. Simply stated, C band frequencies is the middle of the radio spectrum used for 5G networks. It utilizes frequency bands of 3.7 to 3.98 GHz that has been used since the 1970s for satellite TV broadcasts. So theoretically, we should have enough 5G band signal to comfortably send and receive 5G wireless traffic without interference or interruption. Now this is Note 1 from Motorola.com as their 5G service disclaimer. I'll read it just as they have it written on their website. 5G service available with 5G plan. 5G network coverage required, available in select areas. Device not compatible with all 5G networks. Contact your service provider for details. 4. Android 12 out of the box. The Moto G Stylus 5G is coming with Android 12 operating system and the promise of one operating system upgrade. So this phone will receive Android 13 when it is released. What's improved? Number one, new processor chip. The Moto G Stylus 5G is being outfitted with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G chipset. The previous version has the Snapdragon 480 Plus 8 nanometer chipset. The new chipset is a 6 nanometer chipset. A lower nanometer chipset means faster speed performance and better overall functionality throughout the device. 2. RAM and internal storage. 
the RAM has increased from 6 gigabytes of RAM in the previous version to 8 gigabytes of RAM in this new version. The internal storage is increased also from 128 gigabytes of storage to 256 gigabytes of storage and the Moto G Stylus 5G still comes with an expandable storage micro SD card slot for up to one terabyte of external storage. Now this is how you service your customers. Excellent. Three, the battery. Motorola.com reports the battery size is a 5,000 mAh battery with a battery life of two days on a single charge. The phone is coming with a 3.0 capable charger and can be turbo power charged as well. No details as of yet on the size of the charging adapter or time length to fully recharge the phone. 4. NFC capable. The last noted improvement is that this model G Stylus 5G is NFC or near field communication equipped and capable. The previous version is not. Note all other specs remain the same. Now the color choices for this particular phone are these. Steel blue or sea form green. The updates and improvements make this now mid-range price phone extremely attractive. Its price is listed at $499 USD. I'm sure there will be some sales and specials available with certain carriers. I will leave links in the description box below. Leave me a comment, would you now consider buying the new Moto G Stylus 5G or would you consider another phone? Perhaps a high-end flagship model or maybe a more budget-friendly model. Drop your comments below. If you found this video helpful, informative, and it provided you with effective, useful content, please click that like button, click that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell and join the SRT family. I post new videos on Saturdays. If you want to see more videos like this one, leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment and share your thoughts about this video. Check out the links below in the description box. Watch this video next and check out this playlist. Until next time, I'm Roderick, your host and narrator, and this is Seek Right Tech Reviews.